later on we lose. <laughs> that? So are you the total crew? <laughs> So far. I know, not they, well, yeah. they were discussing taking over the other boat. Oh, yeah? Uh, are you going to sail it? Because, you know, we don't that. really know the rig. <laughs> We, um, <clears throat> we're a group of, uh, of uh, reenactors, people who have a uh, share an interest in history. We're fam family and friends, much like a Scottish clan, which is interesting because that's how we started uh, reenacting the uh, Scottish Rebellion of 1745. Um, there's about 60 in the group, of which about half of them were here today in various capacities doing uh, a variety of things, including the naval contingent, uh, as well as a couple of other groups that were represented as well. The uh, Atlantic Challenge was here, um, and the Royal George was here. But uh, most of us were from the uh, uh, Clan McLaughlin, reenactors of the 45. And as you can see, we do a number of different renditions, including the Royal Ecoswa, those are the blue-coated regiments, and the Sutherland Independent Company, that's the red-coated regiments that were uh, present today. This, in fact, is my sister and my head seamstress. Most of my clothing has been made by uh, my sister Gail. She does a wonderful job. Yay! So we research it. Uh, we look for historic patterns, or we create our own if that becomes necessary. Um, Gail's getting quite good at it, and she in fact knocked one of these coats off in about four days. But she's expensive. <laughs> so if you want that kind of service, you've got to expect to pay for it. Hey, they're made to fit. This morning what we had was uh, an invading uh, naval fleet of hostile uh, vessels, of which we had one defending vessel that went out and attempted to defeat them. Uh, they were supported uh, by uh, cannon on the shoreline and uh, infantry from the Sutherland Independent Company, uh, the red-coated Highlanders, um, firing muskets when the ships were in range. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, unfortunately for the, uh, the the shore teams, the um, the defending boat was unable to overcome the invading fleet and uh, suffered uh, damage to its spars, losing uh, a, one sail after another until its mobility was completely limited and it was taken by boarding. At that point, the uh, invading fleet with their new prize sailed into the harbour and docked at the uh, jetty unopposed. The, uh, the, the uh, local uh, regiments uh, rallied and uh, without the uh, support of the Navy, the blue uh, regiments were not able to stand. The, um, uh, were able to hold the, uh, the, the blue-coated regiment uh, at bay until such time as their reinforcements came up. Uh, uh, a lovely uh, section of the Sutherland Independent Company as well. Ultimately, the, uh, the French troops were sandwiched between uh, two opposing forces and they could not uh, overcome that disadvantage and eventually they gave up.